cutting the material. It's been flipped over now. It's upside down. And we're cutting the material to fit before we glass it. There's an overlap. You can see that overlap three or four inches so that you get a good strength bond there. All right, it's been glassed on the underside and it's drying. Just knocking off the rough edges on the underside and on the outside just so you don't poke yourself too bad. Building a little lip. That lip is going to get glued and glassed in place eventually. Glued and then radius puttied. Right there we're making a, uh, a radius with the, the router so that it's curved all around the inside. Now, just like the other surface we're putting on the putty, so that when you put it in place, it sticks. Tacking it together with those magic drywall screws. You don't have to go in very far and that way, if you don't drive it in all the way, you don't leave such a big hole to fare when you go to uh, finish it out. Now I'm putting the putty, the radius in there. Now that's going to hold that really well. That's all been done. Now we're kind of fairing it out, getting ready before we uh, flip it over and glue it to the boat. We're putting a, a layer of mat and then a layer of finish cloth over the top. Mat first. And then the finish cloth over the top of it so that you have a smooth transition and something that if you put your hands on it won't, won't be rough and jagged. It's a little bit tedious, but a paintbrush and a little bit of resin and a little bit of time, you'll get her done. Okay, we're putting it in place and you see I've got that long straight edge there. I'm just making some wedges out of foam to keep it flat. And then we're gonna fill all of that in with putty. There's already been plexus is put in there or if it hasn't been put in there, it's getting ready to be put in. Plexus is a bonding adhesive. I'm making marks to see where it needs to be filled and how much it needs to be filled. Just roughing up the surface before we glue it together. There you go. We're using B39 to glue this down, not Plexus. That's a good bonding adhesive. Right now we've put it in the uh, frosting bags, cut the ends off. It's all mixed, putting in the layer around the whole thing. And where I made those marks at where it needs to be filled, see I'm squirting it in there really good so that it'll bite really well. These are the spray rails. And that's about four layers of 
fiberglass. I make it into a sheet and then trim it out with a table saw, prepping it, getting it all sanded so it'll bond real good. The ends of, uh, are getting ready to be cut, getting that all flat to the, uh, to the hull and there's the spray rails are now put in place fastened in there and glued if they're not glued they're getting ready to be glued yeah they're getting ready to be glued same b39 I try to mix this stuff up with about 2% um, catalyst, which is plenty. It'll, it gives you enough time to work and also fires it off relatively quickly and really hard. Cleaning off the inside edges. It's in place now going to sand it down to where it fits nice and neat. Routing the inside edge on the top, routing the outside edge. And you do all of this before you glass it so that you get a nice transition. Now filling in all the excess pieces that need uh, fairing so that you get a good good finish when you put your glass over it. Yeah, just fill in little pinholes and stuff up there. Radius and end of the transom. This makes a really good bond. You get, uh, turns the whole boat into a one part global structure. Those little trusses there are to even the inside up so it stays nice and level and doesn't, when the glass fires off, it doesn't allow it to bend it down. You, you, you've got to do a few little things to just manage your material and keep it from from doing what it wants to do which is shrink when the gla when the resin fires off just cutting the little turns and stuff so it fits good I generally will mark that with a magic marker before I cut it and then that way it comes out pretty neat See how I'm cutting on the inside? I marked a line on the edge and I didn't want that, that heavy material hanging over into that little splash well. I'll do that with the mat and the finished cloth. All right, it's all glassed and now I'm putting the joints together. Trying to make a nice smooth transition as possible so there's not too much sanding to do. There's the finish radius with the uh, mat and the uh, finish cloth on the outside edges and the inside edges. Now I'm just kind of sanding the whole thing down with that 36 grit sander polisher. Now you see how I cut the uh, the piece that goes over the top halfway down the spray rail? I would, if I were you, I'd do that all the way down to the edge. Uh, it'll make it stronger. I wouldn't cut it off like I did there. I'm not doing that anymore. Let it run long and then just when you fit your rub rail on, you just uh, just mark it with a piece of tape 
and then run it to that tape line. I did that to try to give myself a line to to uh, work work to, but it'd be stronger if you'd take it all the way down to the bottom of the spray rail. Just fairing in everything now. It's getting close. We're getting close to being done with this cap. See where there's more fairing compound there. There's I had to do that to level it all out and make it neat. Mm 